Hey everybody, today we're going to take a look at the 970 series Dometic Porta Potty. I believe mine's a 975. They make a few varieties of it. Basically, they're all the same. It's something that we purchased a few years ago for my wife to have a inside the pop up nighttime option. A lot of campgrounds, of course, will have you know facilities, but they're not always clean. They're not always convenient, and you know this is what she wanted. So we got one. It's been working really well. I don't have any complaints about it, other than that's like the seat is kind of small. But uh, other than that, it's um. You know it's fine cleaning it is of course my job it's not uh, it's not the most pleasant thing in the world but you know it's got to be done uh, what else um yeah this year though instead of keeping it inside the pop-up because our pop-up is kind of small we've been um, using it inside of a kelty block house which is like a separate outhouse tent and um, there's going to be a separate video on that coming up shortly but uh, yeah let's take a look at the uh, the 970 shall we okay this is the uh, dometic 975 I believe is this particular model they make like I just said a couple different models um, on the outside we just look at some features there's a grab handle here on the back this is the lever for lifting it off while I have it off I guess I should show you if you ever have to dump this which you will of course just turn this knob, unscrew this, open the vent up, and uh, you know, out she flows from here into your dump station or what have you. All right, let's put this back together. Just clips on like this. Okay, on the top and the back, there's a fill cap for the uh, fresh water tank, that's 2.3 gallons, I believe. And then there's a pump right here for pumping up the fresh tank so you have pressurized flushing. Here's your uh, flush button, you just push it and it will flush. This is how you open up the hole right there to allow stuff to go down into the gray tank. Okay. Speaking of the gray tank, um, you can put whatever kind of chemical you want in the uh, into the tank. I use a liquid chemical. Just pour a little in there with a little bit of water, you're good to go. Th this uh, gray tank is five gallons. They also make a smaller one which brings the overall height down. That's only 2.6 gallons. Um, also, by the way, this comes in a tan color also. We just went with the gray. Rough dimensions on this bad boy. Um, it's 15 and a quarter high, um, 13 and an eighth this way, and 15 and a quarter deep. Now, uh, you know, I'm f about five foot nine, and you know, sitting on this thing is not really a problem. But I will say that they, you know, in the brochure or in the, uh, you know, on their webpage, they claim that this is a full size toilet seat, and the reality is, you know, it's not. There's no way that this is the same size as a normal toilet. You pretty much, and I don't want to be gross here, but you know, you have to like pee first and then take care of anything else that you need to do on the toilet, okay? Um, and you definitely, and again, I, pardon me for being like a little uh, gross about this, you, you can't have anything hanging in here, like when you flush, because you're not gonna be happy with the result. Okay, like I said, this is the fill cap right here. Right? That's what it looks like. And this is like the pump. So your procedure for going in this thing is to, um, after it's all set up, is to pump it up, right, 12, 15 times, you'll hear a little air leak out, go psh, like that out of this thing, and then you know you're good to go, and then you'll have the pressurized flush when you need to, um, you know, flush when you're done. I, I typically, generally give it a quick little press before I start, that way there's a, it's wet and there's a little bit of liquid in there, it helps everything slide down where it's got to go. You know, you can develop your own technique if you want. Um, Anyway, when you're all done, open this up, flush it a couple times, whatever's necessary. My wife and I find it uh, a good idea to have a, a spray bottle inside that can shoot a stream in case you have any issues in here. It helps it go down, right? Um, and again, all this is kind of gross stuff that you don't really want to think about, but, you know, there you go. There's a little uh, fill indicator here to know uh, when you have a problem. Also, you know, if you if the 
thing is pulled out, you can obviously see down in there. You can see what's going on. You can tell it's getting kind of full. If you travel with children like I do, you kind of got to stay on top of it because they won't tell you it's getting full. Like <clears throat> if you, excuse me, if you aren't using this personally and like the rest of the family's using it, suddenly it'll be like, yeah, it's overflowing. You, you don't want that situation, right? Um, yeah, what else can I tell you about it? So other than the small uh, seat diameter, everything is really great on this. It's a good height for sitting. It's never been a problem. Now, listen, we're a family of four, and we use the facilities when they're available and if they're clean or whatever as much as possible. But this gets used, you know, a few times a day by everybody, and you can get almost a week out of it if you're careful and conservative with how often you use it. If you're using it heavy for people, you know, you're probably going to be visiting the dump station, you know, every two or three days. But, of course, your mileage may vary. It all depends on how much you're going, how many people, et cetera, et cetera. You can find these online. The price average is about $100. I've seen them for, like, 80 and I've seen them for, like, 130 So, you know, shop around. I either got this at Camping World or maybe I got it direct from Amazon. I forget, but... Um, so yeah, there you go. It's a good rig, you know, it's, it's solid, it's held up. I'm not the tiniest guy in the world and, you know, knock on wood, haven't had any issues. It gets used two, three weeks a year. Um, and it's, it's, it's been well worth the money. All right, so that's it on the Dometic 925, part of the 970 series porta potties Thanks for watching, guys. Sorry if I grossed anybody out.